So in this video, we're going to be going back to a company that I have not tried in several years. Uh, and actually just reminds me of uh, when I first started growing a beard and first started uh, kind of falling in love with different kind of products. But today we're going to be talking about Barboo Beard Company out of Miami, Florida. The owner, Abraham, he is a fellow teacher. Um, so we're going to be going over all his stuff. It looks good. And uh, the theme I want you to think about this is rugged sophistication. That's what I think of uh, when I uh, think about Barboo. And that's also so kind of his uh, his mantra, if you will. But welcome. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. So I had fun reminiscing on these and, and actually thinking about some of the other scents that I had tried. Uh, so let's go over, first of all, the prices here. So we've got a one ounce oil for $19. I have three oils here that uh, Abraham recently sent out to me. We've got uh, a one ounce balm which is uh, interesting for the one ounce balm. So if you don't want to uh, have balm sitting around that you never use up, this is only a one ounce and it's $12. So very affordable on that. And it is a medium hold, uh, two ounce butter. And I have one of those here in the night watch scent and it goes for $21. Uh, and then I'll, I don't have these, but there's also a beard shampoo available. Uh, for $16, pine tar soap for $7.50. Uh, it's got some great looking swag and apparel, a nice looking trucker hat. Uh, it also has like even some some knives and blades and some of that other kind of stuff. So check all that out. Uh, the pictures look great. I think Abraham takes it himself. I remember right. He's uh, it's a computer graphic design. That kind of stuff is what he teaches. I can't remember for sure. Uh, anyway, let's talk about these carrier oils. So it is kind of a traditional blend of sweet almond, jojoba, argan, moringa, grape seed, castor vitamin E. Works very well for me. Uh, no complaints there with the feel in beard. Uh, on the uh, oils or the balms or the butters. So the butters have um, a little bit of beeswax in it. So uh, it, you may want to think about that more as a styling butter. I, for me, I can feel the uh, beeswax in it a little bit like when I first put it on. But then after about 15 or 20 minutes, it pretty much gets absorbed in and just leaves me nice and soft, does not feel waxy or anything like that. But it has three, two kinds of butters in it, shea and kokum butter, and then your carrier oils uh, in there as well. The balm uh, has just beeswax and the carrier oils uh, and shea butter, but no kokum butter in that. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about the the butter here in this particular scent. So there's two scents that are just in butter and then the other uh, scents that you can get in oil, you can also order them in butter as well. So this one's called Night Watch. So it works very well for me. So like I said, it does have a little bit of that wax in it. So it's a little bit more weighty when you first put it on. It can be a really good styling butter. But this scent is an absolute uh, good scent. If you like those nighttime scents that are kind of woodsy minty, and if you know me, you know I love those. So it's uh, cedar, it's called Night Watch Cedar, lavender, peppermint, and vanilla. I'm not huge on lavender, but all I get out of this one is that kind of uh, wood uh, kind of bite that you get from the cedar, and sometimes lavender also gives you that. So it's kind of the same, goes down the same vein there. So cedar, lavender, peppermint, vanilla, if I remember right, those are all essential oils on this particular blend. Works very well for me. There's also Red Lion, which is just a vanilla peppermint if you want that for a nighttime thing. And then all these other scents you can get in butter as well that we'll be talking about. So let's talk about the scents that I have. I went back and looked to see if I did a video on the scents that I had tried in the past. I thought I did. I couldn't find it. So if anybody finds it, you can put a link uh, or, or let, give me a message here. I, I tried searching through, but I have close to 600 videos at this point. And then this was way back in the day. This company's been around since 2017. So this had to be like 2018 I did this. Um, I remember trying to sample pack uh, and then also ordering the blacksmith. So we'll talk about all that in a minute. But the ones that are fresh to me, uh, one of them is called Storyteller. And Storyteller is leather, cinnamon, and vanilla. And I could not have told you that until I read it. So this this is one where I smelled it. Didn't realize it was actually written on the bottle. I uh, tried to kind of p figure out in my brain what I was getting. And then as I was preparing for the video, I was typing out all of the, uh, the profiles. This is just a super dark scent. Uh, to me, it's perfect for like a, a fall, cold weather scent, around the campfire kind of scent. Um, so you do get, now that I know it's in there, I can get the leather and the cinnamon, but the cinnamon is not that real fiery type of cinnamon. It's more of a, a warm cinnamon. To, to me, this one is a super strong scent. 
The other two that I have are, are more of a medium scent, but this one was a little too strong for me. Not my particular type of profile either, but if you like those uh, dark scents, I, it's not the sweet leather. Um, everything's kind of rugged, sophisticated, in, uh, and for this one, to me, it's kind of in your face kind of scent, lasting me just about 24 hours, if you will. The balm happened to be in the same scent, which is called Storyteller. Once again, I only used it once because I used it and I, and I like smelled it all night long. So if you like those strong scents, I know there's guys out there that do, uh, and you like the leather, cinnamon, warm, uh, dark kind of scents, you want to try out Storyteller. I like the idea of it, but it, it got a little bit too much for me uh, after a while. All right. Uh, there's another one here that uh, Abraham sent out to me. It's called the Mambo King. And this is for those people that like the um, the lime scent. So what is this one? Let me find it here. Uh, lime, spearmint, and vanilla. I really like the mint going along with the spearmint. It, it kind of brightens it up even more. Um, and then the vanilla, you know, rounds it out and gives it that smooth sweetness on it. So I'm not huge into lime scents either, but I think this is definitely a good one. So if you like those kind of profiles, you want to check that out. And then my favorite of the three scents that Abraham sent out to me is called the Gaelic. Uh, and I love this. It's like I smell. It's like, man, this smells so good. This one I wanted to last a little bit longer because I loved it so much. Uh, and it's like I couldn't put my finger on what it was until I went back and read the profile. So the profile is coffee, vanilla, and amaretto. And I'm really not getting coffee. I'm not a huge fan of coffee scents in my beard. I love drinking coffee, drink it every day, multiple times a day. Uh, I don't really get the coffee. So I'm thinking the coffee just kind of smooths it out, gives it a hint of more, more darkness. But for me, I get the amaretto, a little bit of vanilla, and I love the dark kind of cherry scents, amaretto, dark cherry, wild cherry, 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 any kind of cherry I like. Um, and this one is a super good scent if you like those kind of um, profiles. All right. So that's what I've tried here recently. I've also tried in the past to so take this with a huge grain of salt because it's been years since I've done these. I really enjoyed uh, the carpenter, which is basically like a wood shop kind of scent, uh, but it's cedarwood, patchouli, cypress. Blacksmith, I liked, but it, had, it was just a little bit too uh, much peppery, licorice kind of smell with because it's got anise star in it, which is like a licorice smell, black licorice, uh, bruce, uh, spruce, excuse me, orange, and more. So I like the the idea of the orange and the spruce. The anise star was a little bit too much of a licorice for me. The grower, uh, I don't like lemongrass. If you like lemongrass, it's lemongrass, peppermint, and tea tree. Uh, and then what else did I try? I really enjoyed the um the pirate i don't think it's in, uh, available any longer when you go look at the websites a, it can be a little bit of a chore to sort through because it has like scents that are not in stock i kind of wish there was a drop down menu where you could at least sort sort by what's currently available and some of those older profiles you can't see kind of hides them from you even though i like reading what the older profiles uh, were and maybe they will come back that's why they're still sitting there is because they're going to come back eventually um, but the pirate's no longer available I'm trying to remember if I try if I tried Jester or not. I can't remember if I tried Jester, but it was sweet orange, black pepper, and apple. And then he's got some other ones. Um, so he's got shaman, which is the incense kind of idea, Palo Santo, Frankincense, Nag Champa. Dundee uh, sounds great. It's Australian sandalwood, cypress, eucalyptus, and citrus. Uh, the governor is a peach scent, so peach, cedar, vetiver, bergamot, and more, which definitely sounds more like on the uh, the natural woodsy side of uh, a peach instead of a candy scent. And then if you like the cigar blend, there's El Torcedor. And then Ronin sounds really good as well. Japanese, Hinoki, bamboo, cherry, and more. So I just want to give you a, read those out. If you have not tried Barbu, I wanted to give you an idea about what some of those other scents were. Let me know if you've ever tried uh, Barbu Beer Company. If so, which scents you liked or out of the ones we talked about here, which ones sound good to you. Uh, so make sure you check them out. By the way, uh, we have a limited time code where you can save 15% off with the code Banjo15. So I'm releasing this on Thursday, August 25th, I hope. So the code's going to be good till the end of the day. So midnight on Friday, uh, August the 26th. Okay. If you're watching after that, then you can always say 5% with the code Banjo5. Uh, 
uh, Abraham wanted me to share those codes with you, so happy to do that for you. Let me know if you've got any questions, and check out Barbu Beer Company. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Special shout out to all of my channel members, so you can uh, become a channel member as well. There's two different levels, $1.99 a month or $4.99 a month, just to uh, show some love and support for the channel. Always appreciate that, guys, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.